Good evening, everyone. Our last break of the night is going to be a good one. It's 2016 Bowman's Best Baseball number 41 on the 17th. Big thanks, Gabe. Last spot, Mojo. Dodgers. Are the Dodgers being dumb right now? I think they are. They're being dumb right now. They were, they were cruising through the game. They're in San Diego. They're cruising. And then Kenley Jansen just hasn't been sharp at this early stage of the season. Ruining a great Alex Wood performance. See what we get out of this. Good luck, everybody. Joe P is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. He's a, he's a uh, he's a Diamondbacks fan. Um, Joe, I. I was thinking about you and Arthur the other day about uh, about the uh, East Coast bias. East Coast bias. The other day, um, the other day, uh, what was it? When when the Diamondbacks were, were in Los Angeles, but they got um, they got that home run taken away from him because was it Avila? Somebody had rounded the bases. Right? Now, there's a different thing. Someone rounded the bases and they ran ahead of the runner, and then it was turned out to be just a single instead of a home run or something. And it was something that like hadn't happened in ages or something like that. Just not a, not a common baseball play. But I was I was kind of cracking up, and I I kind of felt bad because um, because I was just like, oh man, Diamondbacks have like they've won like ten games. And all, all like national media is talking about is how the Diamondbacks made a base running blunder, <laughs> which I thought was kind of like, oh yeah, definitely a dumb play. But it, but it was just like, I was just like, oh, nobody's saying, nobody's saying anything when, you know, <laughs> the the Diamondbacks like Patrick Corbin is dealing this season thus far. Diamondbacks are what, they're oh, twelve and four now. And all the national media could come up with and like Twitterverse and whatnot was derp derp. There go the Diamondbacks with a dumb play, <laughs> which I was like, oh, that's, that's a little much. There's no more Mazzara, 80 out of 99. Redemption. Any guesses on the redemption? Oh, uh, when we'll uh, randomize these mirror image cards left and right. And I was like, man, that's some, that's some East Coast bias there. All right. Lucas Giolito, 20 out of 50. That's his rookie. And that's the Nationals edition for Jesse Rager. He's on the White Sox now, but he kind of faltered a little bit, but I think he's back on track. Omar Mazzara for the Rangers. Wow, what a start. Lucas Giolito. And then Alex Bregman. That's not too shabby. That goes to the uh, Astros and Shane. Nice. Oh, there's Austin Meadows right here too. There's Francisco Lindor. There's Bregman out of 250. There's Aaron Judge. And Garrett Davila. Royals. There's Correa and Gary Sanchez. You are due to receive a best of 2016 autograph of T O oh. oh, Tuki Toussaint. 
I know what it was going to be. Yeah, there's a lot of... I wonder if Tuki Dusan has signed his cards yet. All right, so that goes to the Braves. Robert Rohr with the Braves. It's all, all coming back to me now. All right, next box. These guys literally have like stacks of cards, like just sitting there. Sorry about that. Just sitting there. Wait, say what name 10 times fast? Uh, you should be able to. Yeah, it do, it doesn't expire until um, until November of this year, November thirtieth, two thousand eighteen. Garrett Davila, Garrett Davila, Garrett Davila, Garrett Davila, Garrett Davila, Garrett Davila. I can, I can do that. Maybe not any much faster than that, but remember the. Uh, Remember the Micro Machines guy? You guys remember that? The Micro Machine guy? You said 10 times fast. Oh, you said 10 times real fast. Oh, I see. No, I don't think I can do that. It's not good. It's not good radio. I don't know. What are some other... Uh... There's some names that are kind of a tongue twister. Um... Russell Westbrook is actually kind of hard because if you kind of overthink it, and I saw someone on NBA Network do this, um, people will sometimes you can get tripped up and you'll say Russell Westbrook. <laughs> you'll you'll flip the W and the R. It'll it'll kind of catch you like you 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 wouldn't think it, but. Try being in a live broadcast or something like that. It'll, it'll sneak up on you sometimes. Kyle Lewis sneaking up on the Mariners. D-Mac with that one. I think he could, did he get traded somewhere? It's kind of interesting because you have to figure out where all these guys ended up even a year later. There's Blake Snell. He's still with the Rays. He's doing all right. Out of 250 and ton. Tyler O'Neill. So Mariners with a couple autographs in that one. Rays, Big Boys 007 with that one. What's going on here? Those cards were kind of... And Alex Kirloff, Twins. That'll go to C.O. Turtle. Ton got traded though, right? That's what Gabe is saying. And Mike Clevenger, that's rookie Mike Clevenger. He's still with the Indians, Daniel Anderson. He's doing all right. Right? No, I already sleep that one. There we go. We'll top load all of those parallels uh, before they get shipped out. If it's a lower numbered parallel, I'll top load it right away. Is Tukey any good? I don't know. I think there are any Braves fans still awake? Hayes is a Braves guy. He might. Yeah, Joe P knows a little baseball. He's supposed to be. What position? Oh, I don't know. Braves have a ton of prospects in their organization, so it's kind of hard to say, like, any one of them could be great or not. Oh, he was the number one. He was the Diamondbacks' number one draft pick a couple years back. All right, next box. I don't 
don't know what happened to it. What, what's crazy is this, this is this is only two years old. This product is only like a little less than two years old. <laughs> Good coaster, says Gabriel. Yeah, the thing is, like, a lot of times you are you you might say who a question mark to some of these guys, but it's remember Bowman is very prospect. It leans prospects. So oh Joe Joe saw him in Fall League, but um yeah. So a lot of these cause some of these guys, unless you're like really into baseball, you know some of these guys you might be like wait who who are these guys, but it's worth looking up and kind of worth researching where they where they stand and like. You know, Baseball America rankings. Like a couple years ago, James and Tyon. You know, what like, did you say about James and Tyon? You know, out of 250. It's like, oh, there he is. Could be good, I guess. But now that a couple of years have passed. There's Will Benson. I think Will Benson's supposed to still be kind of high on the Indians prospect list. That goes to Daniel Anderson. There you go, Daniel. Another one. Joao Mankata. He's a big name. He's on... He's still a Red Sox in this edition. Josh Lowe out of 250. We got Orlando Arcia. That's a big one for the Brew Crew. Rick with the Brewers. There you go, Rick. Nice one for the Brew Crew. Kind of weird to see how, how much things change in a short amount of time when you see players in different uniforms. More Brewers, Josh Hader. The Haterade. Oh, right. Um, yeah, let me know, if, did I skip one? I keep forgetting about that. I think, I think like just a regular one sells for like 20 bucks or something like, maybe even more now. There's Kenta Maeda. Rookie Kenta Maeda, two out of 99. Oh, right, yeah, 20 to $40 card, yeah. We'll have to randomize that, too. Look at this, Royals. Johnny Damon, 13 out of 25. Royals. Karen with the Royals. Nice one, Karen. Remember how Bryce Harper hit a home run? Broke that bat? Just want to double check. Yeah, there's a, there's a, um, it looks exactly like this, except it's Giancarlo Stanton and Aaron Judge side by side. There's Drew Jackson, another Mariner. And so that particular insert, like non numbered, will go for 20 to 40 dollars depending on you know the day of the week I guess and so it's worth separating out and randomizing separately just because of its value I don't think there's any other cards that are like that but every once in a while there's little quirks here Oh, no worries, Rick. Yeah. It's a 20 spot. It's not too shabby. That would definitely... I think he's still a Marlin, right? I think that definitely covers the Marlin spot. And it's a nice discount off of the... Uh, it's a nice addition if you win if you're the Yankee spot. Right, he still would be a Marlin. Didn't happen until... This is the past. Break is in the past, not the future. Come on, Joe. Oh, you got you got which card? The oh, the Judge Stanton one in two thousand seventeen. 
Oh, maybe it's 2017, Joe P, not in 2016. Can't keep up. Can't keep track of these things. I thought it, I could have sworn it was. Oh. Well, false alarm then. Yeah, this is 2016. This is like Corey Seager's rookie year. This is other people's rookie years. <laughs> this guy was big in that set. I think Mickey Moniak was a big one in here too. There's Zach Collins. Zach Collins for the White Sox. Karen with the White Sox. There's Ichiro. And we've got another Will Benson for Daniel and the Tribe. Let's see what's on this side. We have Aaron Judge. All rise. Here comes the Judge. 70 out of 99 for the New York Yankees. Fidel with the Bronx Bombers. It's a nice looking one, too. Even Joe P's impressed. Gradable? Maybe. Popped it right in here immediately. It's protected. Let's see what happens. There's Cal Quantrill, 24 out of 99. It's Paul's kid. And Ozzy Albius, who I believe has been playing, is, is playing now. Robert Rohr with the Braves. The Yankees were like a million dollars in this. Now I have no idea how much the Yankees were. I don't know, 150 bucks, 200 bucks. Nice hit. All right, we are halfway through this full case break. We are making good time. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, that was a pretty strong box right there. Is Albius tearing, tearing it up? I knew he was playing. I didn't realize he was. Well, I guess Braves are playing good baseball anyway. They're scoring a lot of runs, too. I think at one point they had the most runs in the league. All right, good luck, folks. Four boxes to go. A lot of autographs to go, so a lot of time left. If you're worried. If you're getting nervous halfway through the break, don't worry. See? Okay. So there, there you go. Oh, no worries, Rick. No worries. Bowman's best is fun. There's like, there, it's enough to, it's not like it's a, uh, like contenders football or anything like that, where it takes like a long time. There's just enough parallels, enough autographs to really, you really don't notice that it's a somewhat slightly longer break. We can't always do flawless all the time. All right, here we go. There's Moniac and Franklin Barreto. Nice Franklin Barreto autograph for the A's. Yeah, Scott V. I do too, Joe P. Joe P's like saying, even though there's a lot of base cards, kind of do like it in spite of that. Just because I think there's always something to see. You know what I mean? There's like, oh, there's Anderson Espinosa out of 150 for the Padres. You know, and there's some, some surprises. And especially when it's older, you're kind of like, oh, yeah, remember that guy? What happened to him? Remember that guy? He's crushing it now. So I think there's enough kind of, like this, Kyle Schorber, 31 out of 50. Yeah, it's a nice, good, clean design, too. Boom, Landon with the Cubs and rookie Kyle Schorber. There's the RC, right? He was up. 
he was down. He was in the minors. He came back. And then now he's like he lost a bunch of weight. He's getting back on track with the Cubs. Got injured. That was a big injury that won that one year too. Aaron Nola playing well for the Phillies. He's coming into his own. And Raphael Devers. That's a big one too. This is one of it, one of his earlier sort of autographs. Red Sox, EA with the Red Sox. And we have Ahmed Rosario's in here too. That's right. Mets, Jared Rupp. Slick fielding Ahmed Rosario. Nice. And that is that for this box. Nice. Yeah, this has been a great case so far. Sometimes I think it's nice to, like, if, if we have a chance, I think that's why I like diving back into some older products every once in a while. If we're able to get cases for it. Because then you can do play that game where you're like, oh yeah, remember that guy? Or oh yeah, that guy's doing great. Or oh yeah, that guy's a bust now. Whatever the case is, but you still play that game. All right, good luck everybody. Three boxes to go. 12 autographs to go. I will post another. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely run it back tomorrow. Is what we'll do. Be ha happy to do that. We could have something to break tomorrow. Or, Joe P, if you want to fill it up, I'll break until, I'll, what, what say you, I break until four in the morning. And then I just skip tomorrow night. If you want to do that. Um, maybe they'll probably be packed up, or they'll probably be sorted out tomorrow and then labeled and shipped out the day after tomorrow, I think. Because I think we're caught up on everything else, so around there. All right, behind Austin Meadows is Kenta Maeda, 82 out of 99, rookie auto for Gabriel. Could be, could be interesting. I, I can see him having an interesting season. Kind of puts it all together. That's a rookie, Kenta Maeda. There's an... <laughs> Whoops, Joe P. I think you screwed up, Joe P. Joe P's like, wow, some more good hits. I mean, boo Dodgers. There's Anderson Espinosa, who's supposed to be a pretty big prospect for the for the Padres. We might see him a little bit sooner than we think. We want to look for Corey Seager for Gabriel, too. All right. Can anyone tell who this is by, <laughs> by his arm? Pinstripes? Trevor Story. Woo. Rookie Trevor Story. Yeah, this is actually a pretty good, pretty good case, really good case. And that's maybe that's where all the hits were, Joe P. They were in this one. Uh, Rockies. That goes to Bill Anton. Got that Giolito autograph too. He's back on track. And Aaron Blair, rookie auto. I'm not sure where Aaron Blair is at. What's what stage he's at now? Hmm. Interesting. 
All right, Brax and Garrett in the back. All right, two boxes to go. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Blair still with the Braves? What level is he at? Is he leveling up? Two boxes go. Good luck, everybody. I haven't heard much, so Joe's like, probably not, not good. All right. Good luck, everybody. Great case so far. Good luck, everybody. Oh, thank God. Dodgers finally scored two runs in the top of the 12th. Their first run since the top of the 5th. Well, who's going who's gonna to finish off the game? Who's going to get the old GF, game finished, stat? Dodgers still batting. All right. 12 innings against uh, Padres? Come on. All right, behind Manny Margot is Sean Newcomb, who I think is like kind of in the back of the rotation guy. Have Puig pitch? Sure, why not? Sean Newcomb. We've got Riley Pint to 250. Might be, he might be a year away from showing up somewhere, showing up in the Rockies. All right, behind this mirror image card is... Matt Manning for the Tigres. Sam Golden with the Tigers. All right, a couple more autographs to go. And then the last box. Good luck, everybody. Raphael Devers reveals... Can we tell by the helmet? Matt Tice. Th Thice. Matt. The Atomic Refractor. And then behind Madison Bumgarner is Alex Reyes. Is he back in action yet? Alex Reyes was supposed to be one of the big big pitching prospects for the Cardinals. This goes to Arthur with the Redbirds. There you go, Arthur. Last box. Four more autographs to go. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for uh, for digging deep late at night to fill this break up. Appreciate it. I'm glad that if everyone else, if everyone, if you guys dig deep, I'll dig deep for you guys. So thank you. Teamwork takes the group for a group break to happen. So thank you very much, everybody. All right, we'll be back tomorrow. So we'll do more of this tomorrow, too. Five nights a week, Tuesday through Saturday. <laughs> Why are you thanking me, Joe P? Well, I'm a nice guy, Joe P.
behind this hard facade of this 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 tough guy exterior that you clearly see you know behind this tough guy exterior is is a warm heart behind this mean face no no worries you guys Are you serious? Joey Knuckles with some random information here. Did you know that there was a band, there was, so that this band is no more, called Puig Destroyer. It was a Puig Tribute Grindcore band. I, I want to say, maybe I made this up. I want to say that at Dodger Stadium, at the top deck store, maybe Gabriel will remember if they still have this or not. Um... I think they have Puiggy Banks. I think there's like they're 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 pink pigs, <laughs> but with like his name on it or something like that. Or maybe I wanted there to be Puiggy Banks. Anyhow, good luck everybody. Last box. Behind Mike Trout is AJ Puck. Ah, oh, poor AJ Puck. Man, that dude was on his way to to greatness. Um, the, the Tommy John. He got the Tommy John. It was not good. So we'll have to wait a year for him. But that goes to Scott V. Yeah, that's a good one to hold on to. There's Jose De Leon who's on the Rays now. All right, back here is... Josh Lowe for the Rays. Big boys, 007. Third baseman, future, uh, future Evan Longoria, maybe. Any relation to Derek Lowe? No, probably not. Remember, you guys remember Derek Lowe? All right, last two autographs. Good luck, everybody. All right, so behind Kyle Lewis is Forrest Whitley for the Astros. That goes to Shane and the Strohs. Go nicely with that Bregman in the beginning. There's Puck again. All right, one more autograph to go, folks. Good luck. Is it that? No, that's Jake Arrieta. There it is. And here's the rest. Behind out of 250, Albert Almora is... Oh, nice. Rookie auto, Luis Severino for the Yankees. Fidel with the judge and the Severino. The future of the Yankees in your hands. Well, in my hands right now, on its way to you at some point this week. Then there we go, Cubs with that one. And there you have it, folks. Boom. Nice break. This is actually, I'll be honest with you, I don't do this a lot. This actually might be worth a quick recap. So we got the Severino, the Whitley Solid, AJ Puck's a keeper. Alex Reyes could be a keeper too, once he gets healthy. Trevor Story in the mix. Espinoza. We got Kenta Maeda out of 99, his rookie auto. There's Rosario. There's Devers, Schrober, Ozzy Albius. We got the Johnny Damon right up front. Orlando Arcia was strong. You know, when Will Benson projected to be one of the bigger prospects, Clevenger's already in the majors. There's Kirilov, a couple Mariners, Toussaint, Bregman, and Giolito started everything off. Oh, and this guy. So I, I don't do a lot of recaps like that, but th that that was actually that was actually worth it. All right, kids, quick randomizer here to close out the night. All right, Rick, have a good one. Yeah, we'll probably do that football mixer tomorrow. I'm sure, we'll get to it. Oh, is Benson with the Mariners now? What deal was that? 
I don't remember a, a Mariners and Indians deal. All right, so the mirror image, just the regular ones, we'll just do left-right randomizers. Then there was the, the sparkly one, <laughs> the sparkly one, the atomic one. And that'll be between the Cardinals and the Red Sox. Let's roll the dice. No, still with the Indians? Gabe says still with the Indians. Conflicting reports. Will Benson, if you're watching, holler at us and let us know. At Jaspi's Hobbyland on Twitter or IG. Let us know where you are. Seven times for the mirror image. Left and right. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Left side will get those. So the Cubs side. And for the atomic refractor, Six and a one, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seven times, stays with Boston. Goes to Eric. There you have it, folks. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We've got more in the store, so check it out for more baseball, football, basketball, soccer, hockey, all on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. All right, recording is out. Thanks for hanging out with me, folks. <laughs> All right, Gabe. I wish it was more more Dodgers for you, but at least there was at least a, you weren't completely hitless. Got a little discount too, I guess. That softens the blow a little bit. But it's Kento Maya's rookie card, which is nice. But overall, a nice case to witness. The worst thing for me as a breaker in general, the worst thing is a bad case at the end of the night. That just leaves everyone with a bad taste in their mouths. They're like, oh, I stayed up super late for. <laughs> 40 minutes to see this.